Hey, it's Melissa with Sincerely Creative Mom. This is a recording for one of our kits that we have. Um, it was the butterfly, of course. Our ribbon tails were the butterfly and the plaid. So, so pretty. And then our ribbons for the bow or the stripes, the butterfly and the daisy. So pretty. So I've already gone ahead and pre-cut not only our ribbons, but also our, our mesh. So your kit came with the sign, the pancake bundle, the three-part pancake bundle, the roll of mesh, your ribbon tails, um, you have to cut them, they're 14 inches long, your pipe cleaners, and your ribbons for your bow. And so I've already pre-cut the ribbon, or the mesh, the mesh, and the ribbons, so that this video goes a little bit quicker, okay? So let's get started. We're gonna start by, we're only gonna use our, um, the 14 inch frame, so there are videos that we have for the sign extender and the 10 inch. I'm gonna set those aside for now. And then we're going to add in our pipe cleaners. Of course, um, our frame is built to be as easy as possible for you. So we're just gonna slip our pipe cleaners in right where the holes are. And we're gonna wrap them right outside that notch that's there. And we're gonna make sure we twist our pipe cleaner right near the um, notch okay so don't twist it in the middle don't twist it near the hole twist it near the notch and I know that might seem like a very small detail but in the end it's going to help make our uh, layers separate from each other so that you can see both layers going in there um, so we're just going to put these all the way around so I'm making sure my tie notch is tied on the outside and it's tied on the inside. It doesn't matter how big our, how the length of our pipe cleaners, I'm sorry, it doesn't matter that they match here because we're gonna use so little of those that it doesn't, it doesn't matter. We're gonna cut off a lot of it. And so also, um, even though we're not gonna use a lot of it, I wouldn't suggest cutting them in half I tried that way, way, way in the beginning. I thought if I could save every single solitary penny that I could, and honestly, it was more of a frustration than, um, and it slowed me down. Uh, cutting them in half does, technically, you can cut them in half. Um, the pipe cleaners, I mean, they're 12 inch pipe cleaners. Technically you can, but it takes longer to make sure you uh, have all the mesh in and it just it seems to be it seemed to be more of a pain than it was a benefit so this is what we had left I'm gonna set these aside um, I've set this aside because we didn't need it so I already cut 12 pieces at 20 inches long you actually have enough left here to use for your 10 inch frame number one number two there's a cutting instruction video that I highly highly recommend especially if you have purchased this as a kit or if you purchase any of our kits it's actually an easter kit and it's cutting instructions so just general information aside the aside from the fact that it's an easter kit all of the things i taught you in that video apply to all of our kits so um how to get your mesh from fraying so much um tips on your adding your pipe cleaners tips on actually cutting tips on cutting your um, your uh, ribbon tails and the lengths and how to prepare your sign. You see, we already have the clamps on our sign. I've already prepared my sign. So that video available on YouTube, it's cutting, it's cutting instructions. It is a Easter kit that you're, I'm showing you, but it's general and applies to all of our kits. So unless otherwise noted, it applies to all of our kits. So I'm going to go ahead and start adding our our mesh again 20 inches on the mesh I'm just going to add them in uh, the kind of uh, pancake way so I'm just going to ruffle right up that center this is a nice neutral mesh y'all if you have wondered or wished that you could um, pick patterns or colors better or easier we have a class coming up it is called wreathwish.com it is going to be uh, me as the host teaching you all about how to pick patterns and colors and supplies to make an exquisite wreath and make it so much easier and more fun for the process. So um, if you haven't joined us yet, it is a virtual class. So we'd love to have you. Wreathwish.com will give you all the instructions or all the details. So 
I'm just going to ruffle right up that center. Come right down in there, right on the top. Crisscross, twist, twist. I'm going to overlap these two pieces to get them to stay in place and to kind of even out, make a nice round, kind of round circle, because we're going to squish it here a little bit right there. And then flip all those ruffles upside down so they all kind of stay right where they, right where I put them. I want them to stay there. So I'm going to keep doing that all the way. I actually just recorded a little video on this kit as far as colors and choices, why, what I like to do, what I don't like to do. Um, and this will be, that video, it's only like seven minutes long. That video will be dropped in there soon into that wreath wish, um, talking about why I chose the colors and the patterns and the ribbons that I did. I use this analogy all the time and I'll continue to use it because it does apply. So before, in one of my past lives, uh, I worked as a, an accounting supervisor and one of the reports I had to do every year was a tax report as for the state of Connecticut. And I, I live in Michigan and I, I just, I, I hated it. There's no other words. I did not like it. <laughs> I didn't like it because I didn't really understand it. I, I learned it and I was taught it, but I just didn't really understand. So every month, every year, I just dreaded that until finally I said to my boss, I said, look, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta tell me it again. I gotta know it again. I gotta, you gotta please, <laughs> please help me. And then the last time I heard it, saw it, watched it happen, she, you know, walked through it with me. And then I thought, oh my goodness. It feels, number one, so much better. Now I'm excited to do the report. I didn't bother me. I wasn't trying to like put it off. So that was a huge lesson in my whole life, right? If you're not, if you don't like something, you don't like to do something, it's probably because that part you don't understand the most, like pricing or shipping. And so this class is going to be, uh, of course, based on my opinions and what I like to do and how I like to design, how I design, how I pick my supplies. And so I'm going to walk you through how I do it and mostly, not, not, not necessarily just how, but why. You got to know the why. why. The why makes it so much easier to understand. So again, that's wreathwish.com. We're going to be coloring, pattering, mm -mm, matching colors, patterns, florals, greenery, and supplies for your wreaths. I'm super excited. Wreathwish.com for that. All right, we're going to put that right in there again. Crisscross, twist, twist. I'm going to overlap that mesh here and overlap that mesh up here and just kind of snuggle those in right underneath those pipe cleaners making sure those inner pipe cleaners are still very visible and ready for us when we come in there. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to take my ribbons that I already pre-cut and we're going to start with our ribbons. So again, they are 14 inches long. When they come to you, they are wrapped like this. Just quickly measure, make sure that they are 14 inches and then not this one because this one's for your bow. So don't cut this one, it's for your bow. Just slide your scissors in there and just cut one end and cut the other end. Y'all don't take the time to, um, don't take the time to cut every single one individually. It's 14 inches, just cut them. So they're all, this, they're all just cut at once. They will vary, it will vary and it's okay. I promise in the end you won't know, okay? I've been doing this for a while, I promise. All right, so I put my favorite on the top, even though my favorite is always the plaid. I love the plaid. I put my favorite on the top, put it across it, or find the center, and then undo it, and then I'm just gonna scrunch up the center here. So I'm gonna scrunch, 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 scrunch. Fold it facing out towards me, so that all those ends face out towards me. And I'm gonna put them right down in there, 
crisscross nice and tight and then I'm going to twist it maybe seven or eight times enough so that builds kind of like an inch there. I'm going to move on. We're going to come and cut them all at the same time, fluff them all at the same time. Okay. So these nice little ensembles, to kind of do this in order, gives all the supplies space to kind of coordinate with each other. Also you notice out here these two pieces of mesh kind of barely touch each other. That's exactly what we're going for. It's, it's not what we're going for necessarily, but exactly what happens with the mesh size. And you can see here, you can still very much see the frame. Okay, don't worry, we're gonna take care of that on our inner layer, so don't worry. So don't stop at this point and say, oh my gosh, oh my goodness, I can't, you know, I can see the frame, it's not gonna look good. Just trust the process. Just trust the process. Okay, sometimes the same thing you have to do with colors. Trust the process, okay? Trust the process. Just like a lot of you are probably thinking, that's kind of weird. She has a Halloween candy corn um, plaid with butterflies. Weird, I know. But it's totally gonna work. Not only is it gonna work, it's gonna be so pretty. All right, so put all of our ribbons in there and then pick up my wire cutter. Make sure I'm cutting the ones with ribbon in them. Okay, picking up all at once, going around, cutting that excess off. Now, I don't necessarily have to cut that excess off. I just do it to get it out of the way, okay? You won't see it in the end, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so here, I'm just going to push this down, push it forward, and then push it down. Kind of like grabs that all together and then lifts it up and down and side to side. Up and down, side to side. Push it forward, push it down to kind of just group that all together. Make sure it all kind of stays in place. Up and down, side to side. Up and down, side to side. And then if this one wants to go back over on top of the plaid, I'm just gonna move it and make sure. Okay, I just wanna make sure I see all of those ribbons. Now what's weird is, when I was younger, I was little, orange and yellow were like the least favorite. Right? I did not want to see the orange and yellow. <laughs> did not want to be stuck with the orange and the yellow. Now, I love orange and yellow. So cute. The brightness. Orange can go for so many things. Yellow all summer long. So cute. There we go. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the inside layer, except the inside layer, the mesh is gonna completely overlap each other. So it's gonna really cover up that um, frame. Look at how pretty that is. Woohoo! I love it. I totally love it. all of our mesh is in because this piece is going to completely overlap that piece. So I'm going to wait until all of our mesh is in before we add the ribbon, just like we did the last time, or for the first round, rather. There we 
right down in, right down on top. And so again, you want to trust that process and making sure that it's going to cover your um, frame. And yes, this mesh is covering up our ribbons a little. It's going to start to form those layers, which look really nice in the end. And I'm going to try not to, which see I'm already doing that, but I'm going to try not to pull those and play with them until the very end when I put them in place. always overlapping to help make it sure it stays in place and then kind of taking those ruffles underneath there we go I'm obsessed with this these patterns are so cute this sign and these ribbons made it really easy to pair together Sometimes I forget that I'm teaching. And then sometimes I think, did I just say that out loud? <laughs> there we go. This is so cute. I This is so cute. You know, this was a kit that went pretty fast, so we did order more. Um, we should have them up and available in the next uh, two days or so. If you did not have a chance, if you're watching this after the fact, and you did not have a chance to um, pick up this kit, make sure you're on our email list. We do send out an email for available kits first before we post them to the public. And usually they sell out before they get to the public. Um, sometimes I pre-schedule a post to be posted and by the time it actually posts it's already sold out. Um, so you can join our email list. Again, you can go to learnfrommelissa.com. It has all of our information, our email, our phone number, lots of free resources, our favorite suppliers, our favorite tools, a list of all of our social media platforms, all of those things. So that's a good resource to always just remember easily. Learn from Melissa.com. Again, we're going to come in there with our next layer right on top. I'm going to scrunch up real as tight as I possibly can. Scrunch it up so it's super, super little. Fold it so it's all kind of facing out towards me. So it's all formed. Put it right down in there. Put it in there when it's formed. Tie those pipe cleaners super tight. I twist them again seven or eight times, just enough so that when I cut off that excess, there's enough there that isn't going to allow those ribbons to come apart. I'm just going to keep doing that all the way around. Twist those. And you see nothing is going towards the inside. Now, if you've never seen me before, if you've never watched a pancake wreath made, be made before, there's a reason for that. Nothing goes on the inside. Number one, I'm going to cover up the inside completely. And so any ribbon that's on the inside is going to end up covered, right? So then I'm wasting my money on my ribbon if, I, if you can't see it. So I want you to be able to see it. Now, I said that, and I'll follow that up with, sometimes you can barely see the mesh, I'm not wasting my money on the mesh. The mesh is a supporter. 
So it's allowing my, my wreath to take shape. It's allowing my ribbons to stand up. It's a supporter, okay? I can see it a little bit, um, but you know, it's not, it's certainly not the star of my show. And so everything in my wreaths come out towards the outside edge. Everything faces out. That's the, that's the plan, that's the point. Super cute, picking up my wire cutters just once and going around to cut off that excess that I just don't need. There we go. And then again from here, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna push that forward, except now I'm actually gonna push down and forward. So I just push that forward just so it's out of the way, it's not sticking up, but now I'm gonna push it down and forward. It's gonna allow my layers here to be just a little bit more distinct, okay? So I'm just a little bit more distinct. I'm just gonna pull that, push that in. See now the difference? Maybe you can't because of your angle, but it's, it's at least a half an inch difference. And that's what I want. That's what I definitely wanna see. I wanna make sure that they are separated um, not only by the ribbons are separated, but separated by layer, so that when I spread these apart, I can definitely see all of the ribbons, all the layers, all the ribbons. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. Push it in. Spread it apart. This is so pretty. This is so, so pretty. This is so pretty. Okay, I'm not gonna, once I pull these apart, up and down, pull them apart side to side, I'm gonna try not to touch them until I have everything else in, because I'm just gonna end up continuing to move them. Right, so I would have moved that already I'm going to just wait until the very end. I've already spread them apart so I know that they'll go where I want them to go in the end. And so I'm not going to touch them and put them in place until I have everything just where I want it. And that does include the sign and the bow. So everything is in place and then I can put those ribbons. I don't have to worry about, you know, rustling them or moving them when I'm, you know, putting in the next layer or whatever, whatever, whatever. Just want to touch them as few few times as possible. This is I can't. I'm so sorry for keeping saying it's so cute. You know, I always I always say to myself, trust the process. Like I don't know if you saw recently the um, the wreath I made in the um, in the creative coaching group. I had those great big beautiful peonies that were like orangish corally um, with a little kind of yellow tip so so pretty and then I added in some deep orange um, tulips to watch that one come together was I loved it I totally loved it Let's see if I can get this one a little bit more here Mm hmm yes 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 all right I'm gonna set that aside for just now and let's get all these in the garbage there we go this is gonna be for my sign this is gonna be for my bow okay um let's get our bow oh you guys look at that that is so pretty. Okay, I'm totally in. Y'all, if you're watching this on Facebook, don't forget to, to, I'm not sure if it happens on the recordings or if it's only when I'm live. It might only when I'm being when I'm live, but if you type in the exclamation and the word notify when I'm live on Facebook, Facebook will actually set you up with a, a notification when I go live. Don't forget if you're watching us from YouTube, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you will get notifications when I have new content. Y'all, our, our ribbons come to you folded just like this. They're all wired, okay? So just know that you can smooth them out and they will be just fine, okay? Okay, 
edge, seven inches on the tail, six inches on the loop. Seven inches on the tail, six inches on the loop. Seven inches on the tail, six inches on the, oops, that doesn't look like seven inches. Seven inches on the tail, six inches on the loop. There you go. Okay, and then pinch. Twist, loop. There you go, nice. Pinch, twist, and loop. Make sure that ribbon comes all the way up, all the way over, and loop. And then, of course, pinch and twist. Put my ribbon down in. Make sure I'm kind of folding that out. Um, then I'm going to take my butterfly ribbon, actually, and kind of hide it inside. I'm going to hide this kind of inside. So I'm going to go tail, loop, pinch, twist, loop, pinch, twist, loop, pinch, and twist. Y'all, I'm going to end this video. I'll be right back. I can hear my son. I know my husband's up there, but I can hear my son. I'll be right back. Okay, sorry if those of you, if, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to hear that on the video or I'm not sure, but I'm so sorry that happened. My son is ill and my husband's upstairs and I'm trying to complete this in between the joys of the joys. I feel bad for the little dude. He was sleeping and then I mean, clearly he wasn't. Okay, um, we're gonna finish off, okay, we're gonna finish off with our daisy on the top. Love that choice. Okay, finish off with the daisy on the top, so I'm just gonna add here. And then my top layer is a little tiny loop. It's about three inches, our top loop. This is gonna help us hide the um, pipe cleaner of the bow. So I'm gonna do that to between two and a half and three inches, okay? That's not gonna to count towards my loop count, by the way, it's just extra. So twist, and then here's my loop that counts in my loop choices, pinch, twist, loop, pinch, twist, loop, pinch, and twist. Okay, so now those two loops are going to go opposite of those two loops. So they're going to go over here. Perfect. Cut that off a little bit, make it short. Okay, and then I can put these in place so they're kind of formed. Before I pull that out of there. That's just gonna go straight up when I'm done. Okay, and then I'm just gonna lift that whole thing up. Hold on to it nice and tight. Grab my pipe cleaner. Push down, making sure that center stays all on top of each other, all good there. Okay, I'm gonna bring my loop straight up. Bring this one down, this one out to the side, this one out to the side. Now I could have probably made this bow a little smaller, 
as I'm looking at where this is actually going to reside and end up. I could have made it a little smaller, but I didn't. So I want these. Let's prepare our sign. I'm going to take my clamps off. They should be good and ready. I'm going to add my pipe cleaners to the sign. So I'm just going to slide them in here. Nice and easy. Crisscross, twist, twist, just to make them stay. And then I'm going to slide this one in. Nice and easy. Crisscross, twist, twist, so they'll stay. And then I'm going to add our sign to the frame these things all out of the way. Add our sign to the frame. So I'm going to place generally right here. Okay. And our sign, our, our bow is going to go right about here. So pretty. So pretty. So, 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 so pretty. Okay. Um, so first thing we want to do is make sure we get our sign in an attachment. So I'm going to take those two pipe cleaners and slide them right down into the mesh. Okay, this is always the hard part. Oh, that one, of course, that one went in right easy. That was good. And then I'm going to put both pieces in. The trick is getting one in without letting the other one slide out. That's always fun. This is always the trickiest part of the whole entire wreath. You want those to come in. Because never, it never feels, I'm just going to show you why it gets so hard. That, that, um, those pipe cleaners are two pieces of wire woven together. And I don't know if you could see that, but forever and always, it always catches one teeny tiny string of that mesh and on the, on the very tip and it drives me bonkers. And so, yeah, that's always fun. All right. Making sure I get this in. Again, I want to make sure I'm covering four pipe cleaners. We are good there. So I'm switch it over. I'm going to show you what I'm doing. So I have it switched. I have it. These are the, the pipe cleaners from the sign. I pull one in on the inside. I pulled one in right up kind of right there, and I slid it underneath that frame to come out towards the other side of the frame. So all I'm going to do is nice and tight, tie that a uh, around the frame, twist, 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 and then hide it right underneath there so that part of it's attached. Now we're going to do the other half, okay, making sure I'm kind of off to the side a little bit. Making sure my pipe cleaners are getting in right where I need them to. And they're going in right where they need to. Anywhere I can find that I can put that pipe cleaner in. Um, I just used actually the hole that was for this ribbon. For that, that pipe cleaner that was holding that ribbon in. I just used that hole just now just because it was right where I needed it to be. I didn't want that to go too far. And I'll show you what I mean in just a minute. Okay, so what I did was I slid that pipe cleaner right through that same hole because I needed it to go right there. I didn't want to have to pull it in all the way over here. And so then I'll just use that as my as part. Twist it, slide it under. Okay. So then I have my sign that's attached. It's not going anywhere. Right? It's not shifting. It's not anything. Right? Perfect. Make sure it stays in right where I need it to be. Right there. Great. And then, of course, I'm going to add my bow, and then we will be all done. Well, I'll add my bow, and then I'll go around and uh, place all my ribbons where I really want them to go. Okay, I'm going to come up a little bit higher here. Let's go ahead and just hide this pipe cleaner. 
kind of tuck it underneath there just so it's really out of the way in case because I'm going to let my bow tail kind of hang down that way and just in case it kind of moves but it'll it should cover it right there but in case it moves um, I might even put a little tea tiny dab of glue on even though those my, the, my oopsie sorry Add that glue on just kind of tack it a little bit all right i'm going to add this right into the top not even with the sign a little bit higher than the sign oh, the first one has been going in easy and then that second one just wants to give me trouble Breezy, lemon squeezy. Okay. So I'm doing the same thing with that, just bringing it right around the whole frame. Tuck it down in there. There we go. I am gonna. Um, I am going to tack that so it just glued a little bit right around there. But other than that, maybe I should put this up. It's kind of naturally going up that way. Keep it there. We go. I am in love with this so much. Okay, the very last thing, because now we've kind of ruffled all of our ribbons here. The very last thing I do, of course, is go around to make sure everything is sticking out towards the edge. Nothing gets hidden. You can see all of our everybody. Okay, no one gets to hide. No one gets to hide. Make sure we go around and bring everything out. Make sure those tails are sticking straight out. I kind of even, um, you know, I kind of even twist them out a little bit so that they do stay where I want them to, as far as, especially as far as the photos. I want those, everything to be as perfect as possible when you get those that wreath in front of your in front of your um, camera and you're taking your pictures you want them to be as uniform and as out of tension as possible so that it doesn't look like you're missing something it doesn't look like something's hiding you know you have all of the things all in place this is beautiful I'm in love with it so so pretty so absolutely so pretty love it totally and absolutely it's beautiful let me zoom you out here just a little bit so you can see the whole entire thing don't mind my mess on the sides it's really pretty y'all thank you very very much for watching i'm so sorry if you caught it during the bow um if my if you could hear my son he's doing better he's doing better um, and then from the side from the back it's nice and clean again this was a kit if you have not um, if you've not purchased one of our kits most of our kits the mystery kits do not but most of our kits do come with a video such as this uh, if you're on our email list you do get first dibs it's learnfrommelissa.com you can find our email list there you can find our text number there you can find a lot of resources there to help you um, I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that you're following and subscribed. All those things. I can't wait to see you again. And don't forget, we are hosting a um, color pattern supply matching class coming up here in April. All the all the um, recordings will be available if you weren't able to watch us live uh, during the class. All the recordings will be there, available both on the Facebook group and if it's after the class, it'll be available on our website as well. So you have instant access to that. 
Um, again, that's wreathwish.com. One more time, learnfrommelissa.com will give you everything you need, all of all the things, our social media platforms, our blog, our website, our wreath kits, our email, our text message, all the things. I am very thankful for you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Bye, y'all.